This segment of the news is brought to you by Sun Oil Limited. Welcome back. Another homicide on the books. Police here in the capital investigating a shooting incident last night in the Hawthorne Road area near the Persis Rogers Home for the Aged. According to ASP Peters, the victim appears to be between 40 to 50 years old, adding that he was known to the police. Now, the police also confirmed that they do have someone assisting them with their investigations. This shooting incident follows a fatal stabbing during an altercation on Friday. According to police, a man is in custody in connection with that incident. Nearly 30 people arrested in Ambico yesterday for breaching the curfew. Reports are that sometime after 10 p.m., a team of officers led by the Assistant Commissioner of Police, Mr. Ashton Greenslade, and members of the Royal Bahamas Defense Force launched, quote, Operation Curfew in the Abaco District. Officers proceeded to a number of businesses in the Abaco community where they met a large gathering of persons. All business establishments were made to shut down and patrons were warned of prosecution. Shortly after 11 p.m., officers while in Marsh Harbor and Dundas Town arrested a total of 29 people found in breach of the COVID-19 emergency powers orders. They are all expected to be arraigned before the magistrate court early this week. In other crime news, police also recovering firearms and ammunition from the streets of the capital over the weekend in two separate incidents. Police say shortly before 5 p.m. on Saturday, officers from the operations unit acting on information went to West and Fleming Street and after being directed to a tract road, conducted a search of the immediate area and recovered a black Cobra 9mm pistol with five unfired rounds of ammunition. Now, while no arrest was made in this incident. Some six hours later, shortly after 11 p.m., officers from the Western Police Station executed a search warrant on a residence in Pride Estate and recovered a 12-gauge Maverick shotgun containing four live rounds of ammunition. A male was arrested in connection with this incident. Investigations continue. And the news from the courts, two males and one female spend their first night in prison this evening as they were charged today in the magistrate's court on one count of robbery each. 18-year-old Maya Smith, seen in the pink jacket, 18-year-old Kel Tio Johnson, seen in the gray shirt, and 19-year-old Demetrius Bastian Jr., seen in the aqua and white shirt, stood before Magistrate Samuel McKinney this afternoon. The particulars are that on September 10th, here in the Providence, the trio allegedly robbed Delgado Comer of one silver rope chain and charm valued at $150 and $3,000 cash. They all pleaded not guilty and bail wasn't granted. They were remanded to the Bahamas Department of Correctional Services and may apply to the Supreme Court for bail. You're watching JCN News. Stay with us. This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited.